Hey guys, I'm back with uh, the pouring. So this is the uh, updated list as of this morning. So I want to thank everyone for sponsoring my channel. Now what I have planned is, I have a lot of colors, but what I have planned is a, um, like someone said, ivory color. So I'm going to do an ivory background. And I'm going to do a brown and bronze pour on top of it. This is the bronze, as you can see, really pretty. We're going to put that on top. Before I do anything, I'm going to do, let this sort of move. What I was thinking, because yesterday I did that small uh, 20 by 20, and um, what I thought was wrong with it was that the paint was too, oops, I'm dripping. There's a, the paint was just a little bit too uh, thick, but also I didn't have enough um, paint on top of the canvas. So that's something that we're going to test out right now. As you know, I'm not, I haven't been doing the uh, bottle cap pours that long. So um, what, what I do find out is that um, the more you do them, the more you get the experience and you see uh, what is um, important in a certain technique. And uh, I think that's something that you guys are going to do too. Every time you pour something, you know, you get away with a little bit more experience. And that way, you know what's involved in a certain type of pour. Like when you do the uh, dirty, dirty flip cups. It de depends a lot on the colors you use because um, uh, sometimes they go muddy, sometimes they don't. That has a lot to do with the, the color wheel. When you're using certain colors, they tend to turn into mud quickly. If you want to look that up, it's on the internet. If you uh, Google the color wheel, it'll uh, tell you a lot about colors that muddy or the colors that don't. So that's uh, something you might be interested in. I do have a color wheel somewhere here. I bought one just, you know, to explain it. But, you know, it's uh, too much to just, you know, remember. And instead of just uh, saying something, I, I think the best way to do it is just people just, you know, check it on Internet. Um, th lately... I've been uh, really um, sort of uh, getting a little bit antsy about a lot of people think they know what they're talking about a lot. And I'm talking about the Facebook groups. And then they sort of give, give such bad information. Um, I'm going to, uh, <laughs> you know, sometimes I don't want to jump in because I'm thinking, you know, they will think that I'm a know-it-all, but... There was this morning on the Facebook group, the Dutch one, they were talking about putting an eco line uh, in the acrylic paint. And then someone comes up and says, oh, yeah, you can do that because it's all water based, water based and water based. That works perfectly. And I'm thinking, what are you telling these people? Don't do that. Eco line is um, not color fast. Far from it. It's like the... If you have color fastness and you go way down the line and you skip like way down the line, then you get eco line because it's just not color fast. And it says that, you know, anyone that uses it will tell you it's not color fast. So, um, yeah, I think that is a bit crazy to tell people they can do that unless you have really, really um, a lot of experience. I wouldn't, I really wouldn't do that. So sometimes when people mail me and they ask me about certain things, colors, I don't know what, I will just say, you know, sorry, but I don't have the experience with that type of, um, with that type of paint, or I don't have experience with those colors. I can't tell you about that. So I think, um, Sometimes it's better to say nothing than, you know, give uh, give out that wrong information because that makes it, for the person that's going to use it, it's going to be really difficult. See, this one's too thick. 
Now, the thing is that when you want it to grow into the background, your background color needs to be really thin, but you, the colors you put in these little caps, they are sort of thin too. So, um, thinner than normally we do the flip cup. <clears throat> I do want a lot of this um, bronze color in here because I think that makes for a really pretty effect. And then I'm going to come in with some burnt sienna then I'm going to top that again off with the uh, ivory color then I'm going to come in with the this one I mix myself a really nice chocolatey brown this is a Van Dyke brown with yellow orange and red in it just little little bits of those colors and it turns out to be a really beautiful warm warm brown which I really really like a little bit more of the bronze there it is and then finishing it off with ivory okay we're ready to put it on there put the colors out of the way so we have some move room little caps get the painting in the middle now I haven't filled them up to as you can see up to the top so um, with the last one I did like this I did fill it up to the top but not these so I'm putting them on letting them rest just for a little bit so that they uh, so that the colors can come down and then what I want to do is pull this one down here and push that one up and down there so let's see I want to go over and under like that and I oh that's a nice that's nice movement and the way you uh, tilt it that that sort of determines the uh, the movement of the of the paint Okay, that was it. And I would like that. Oh, yeah, it's nice, nicely pouring into the background. That's going to be awesome. But I would like a little bit of this going over the side. Maybe I can still have a drop. Yeah. There it goes. Because I really like that something comes over the side see how it's growing it is gonna be awesome this one and I know that you guys don't see the uh, see the metallic but I do a little bit more over the side and there it goes that makes it just that little bit more special now can you see it all grow it is growing like crazy so um, I think I just might zoom in and uh, just be quiet so I can speed up the video that would be really cool Well guys, as you can see, um, I hope it worked. So I'm, I was going to speed up a little bit. I hope it worked. But as you can see how beautifully this grows into the background. And that really makes the whole painting. So uh, it's going to grow a little bit more. But not that that much after this. Oh, I see a little hair in here. I've got to take that out. Don't want the hair in the paint. There it is. So um, I'll just stop the video right now and then maybe just do a picture when it's almost, you know, that it won't move anymore. So I'll be right back. Love you all to pieces. Later.